Okay, so I'm back and before the video start, it's greatly appreciated when you were to rock, so please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back and we got some stuff to talk about because some things don't make sense to me, some things is confusing as hell, some things is just like weird. Alright, so first of all, Sapphire pissed me off. This last episode pissed me off because you really didn't do anything and then tried to justify it. Then went to the girls that just fought your friend and pulled water on her. Like, that shit was so weird. That shit was so weird. When Suki and Sapphire was having that conversation, everything that was going on in my head, Suki said. When Sapphire said, uh, I 100% had your back. And then she said, could I have done more? Yes, I could have. It's like, what? What? Then that video that Mariah put up of Suki. First of all, Mariah, you pulled that video up fast as hell. Was that just like... And, like, did you have that tucked in the stash or something? <laughs> One thing I will say, I don't like the kid stuff. I don't know why people keep bringing up other folks' kids. I don't agree with Suki bringing up Roly's son. I don't agree with it. And I digress. But remember when Roly brought up DJ Sky Kid and she told DJ Sky she was going to beat her up in front of her daughter? DJ Sky and Roly did not fight at the reunion from what I'm knowing. It's like, what? You ain't, what? <laughs> Anywho, back to Sapphire. So she's saying... So Kiana told her that E.T. threw the water on her, but then Sapphire said she addressed it on the Sprinter, and they said it was Roly that threw the water. But it's like, okay, so why you ain't hit Roly? It wasn't even Roly that threw the water. It was E.T. But, like, if they saying it's Roly, why you ain't hit Roly? Because Suki said she would fight anyone who... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, me and Suki are good. Listen, I ain't want to get into this, and I'm not going to get into it. I'll get into it with y'all on, um, on Monday, but just to wrap it up, and I've already made this known before, so this isn't new information. Unless you just ain't been here. Everybody knows that there's a scene in Baddies. Me and Suki fell out during her fight with her and Roly. I'll go into details with that later on. I, but I do want to make clear, me and Suki did not fall out because she fought Roly. Let's just make that clear. We fell out because E.T. threw water at her. And when, when Suki told me that E.T. threw water, I did not know that, and I addressed it on the Sprinter, but they still said that it was Roly. So, that was the fallout. But then, the next episode, you're fighting Mariah. So you didn't want to fight Roly or E.T., but you wanted to fight Mariah? Make it make sense. You can't. Your best friend had two girls yelling at her while you was right there, and you ain't do shit. You did nothing. And then this part, don't take it as facts because I could just have a bad memory. But when E.T. threw the water, wasn't Sapphire right there? And didn't she, like, say E.T. name? Like, I don't... Am I tripping? Hold on, let me go look. I'm gonna go look. I found the clip. You're a liar. You was right there. And you said her name. You knew it, you knew it was E.T. Are you scared? Was you scared to fire her or something? Because you just... But, Sapphire. Basically, she pissed me off. I don't want to see her on baddies again. I don't got no authority, but I'm just saying my opinion. Another opinion. Bobby... I barely like this nigga. This, he gets on my nerve 24-7. But I like what he did. He called you out, said that you was wrong. I'm glad he said that. I'm glad he said that. Uh, Natalie and Scotty, uh, very entertaining. Dumb as hell, but entertaining. Did y'all people let me broke that fight up? Speaking of that, do y'all know they brought that situation up at the auditions? I mean, not the uh, What did they just have? The reunion? They brought that situation up at the reunion. The whole girl sleeping with Lemmy stuff. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep it in. I don't know if uh, they gave Anna and Scotty a script saying, oh, no, we never messed with him. I want to know how that's going to play out. But either way, that shit going to be funny. But the Natalie versus Scotty situation, uh, the fight, entertaining. I do think Scotty won. Natalie was getting her at the end. She also did have that ring on. Yeah, she fucked Scotty face up. I don't know. I, do I want to say it's a tie? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and I'm also still iffy on if it was actually about food or not. When we're going to talk about that because that lady from production was talking about... She was talking to Zeus T. Inc. I still have to... Y'all, they was on... They was talking for like an hour straight, so I don't know how to go about that. But that lady from production, she was basically saying the fight actually was over food, right? And it's like, all right, cool. But then she talk about some Scotty and on and never slept with Lemmy and stuff like that. Now, be, be, now I know you lying. I can't... We're going to get into it. Also, the South Central Baddies Season 4 reunion. I was going to do a video, right? But then it kept getting confusing. Um, it, it's a bunch of people that was there that wasn't on the show who I don't know. Nodge, she was there. I don't remember Nodge on the show. And I like Nodge, kind of. I think I will remember her. Like, they did not want to have a reunion with just the people that was on the show. They, everybody, well, not everybody. Majority people brought extra people. Some people rode there together. Then they ended up fighting and left with somebody else. It was, <laughs> it's a lot going on. Overall, they didn't even film 
a reunion. Oh, the day before, Liddy, she tried to pull up on Ivy because Ivy got her daughter chained or something like that. And um, Ivy wasn't there anymore. Next day at the reunion, I don't even think they fought. Ivy, she got jumped. But she got jumped by some people that was not even on the show. Uh, Everybody, to me, seemed like they still scared of Billy. It, I don't like the way people be talking about Billy. That should be pissing me off sometimes, bro. Like, they be acting like Billy is just so huge. Billy is, like, between Biggie and Rolly. She's, like, in the middle of that. She's not even... <laughs> like, they be dragging it sometimes. But but they could be joking. Like, people be saying she need to fight men. I don't think so. No, girl, she's still a woman. She don't. I, but I don't know if people joking or not. If they not joking, I don't like that. Now, do she look strong? Yes, she do. But Cash said Avery punch harder than Billy. So it's like, fight a man where? No, she don't. It, it don't make sense. Because if that's the case, why are you scared to fight Billy but not scared to fight Avery? Nina, she was there. Honest, Nina is like one of my favorite from now that TV. Do y'all like her? I like her. Ivory, when I first seen Ivory, she gave a bully to me. Then I was trying to, I was like warming up to her. Then I seen her stumping the girl head in, in the, uh, the passenger bus. It's a, what? She be throwing me off. I'm, I'm getting on topic. But uh, the now that TV videos, they're coming. I just, I have to make sure I know everybody first, y'all. Question for the now that TV people. There's a little girl. That I keep seeing on YouTube live and stuff like that. I, people saying she's 13 and she's the daughter of somebody on Now That's TV. And she's basically like a prostitute. Do y'all know who I'm talking about? If y'all do, can one of y'all comment so I can talk? Because I want some information. Because I'm not understanding who this little girl is. Okay, so getting into what I'm actually supposed to be talking about this video. I'm going to put a timestamp because I know I was just talking for hella long. But first we got T and Scotty. So remember when Jonathan said Scotty beat the shit out of T? T is saying otherwise. T said, security was pulling me back. She was swinging, but nothing connected. I mopped her in the face, chest, and neck. Scotty, this girl was punching you in the neck. <laughs> okay. All right, so look, it's either Scotty and Jonathan are lying, okay, uh, or T is lying, or it was just a tie, and they both feel like they won. I can't wait for this damn reunion. Okay, so there was a post about Natalie and Scotty fight on the last episode, right? And they was talking about how they could fight and be sisters the next minute or like they make up fast or some some stuff like that, bro. Uh, T said, sisters, LOL, Natalie is her pimp. Now, this is my first time hearing T say something like that. And I'm very interested in what she got to say about that. What do you know about this whole situation? Because it's giving you know something. Also, I have a question. Y'all know how, um, in, like, closer to the beginning of the season, people basically found out T and Scotty beef when they was in, what, London or something, was actually about a man. Is this man Lemmy? Because even Rowley said they beef is about a nigga. So who who exactly was the nigga? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Stunning Girl, I think it was Stunning Girl, remember, she was like, the girls was jealous because when T got there, Lemmy had a crush on T. And they ain't like that. They ain't like that. Next, we have Rowley. So Rowley, in two more days, she is getting her tummy tuck, lipo, breast reduction, and lift. I didn't know you could get surgeries that close, like, back to back to back. I didn't know that, bro. I'm, I'm not saying that you can't, but that just seemed like a lot for the body to endure that close from the last... It, mm, I don't know, child. But, bro, she like it, I love it. I don't. I thought she was getting another BBL. I guess that's going to be, like, later down the line. Then we have Anna. Not going to lie, I'm kind of scared for Anna because Anna... These other girls, they live on the East Coast, you know? You don't... I think you're the only one that's talking shit that lives very close to these other women. When I say other women, I mean the now that's TV girls, right? So first of all, after the uh, reunion, E.T., she did the interview with Liddy, and she was like, Anna, I'm gonna get you, right? And then E.T. was like, well, I, first of all, I said this. I said, Anna, you need to calm down before they catch you, okay? Y'all know, you feel me? But E.T., she like, um, Anna, I'm gonna catch you. You live here. You just got beat up in the 7-Eleven and all. Well, I, I'm not gonna say she got beat up, but she did get in the fight. I don't remember the actual fight, but there was a fight. Honestly, she made a post. She said, E.T. keep talking about she gonna catch me left in my behind off. Girl, you can't even be in the same rooms as me or functions. Can't be around the same people as me. None of that, girl. Real talk, no shade. Like, we in two different criterias, baby. You couldn't get booked at any club I'm in. I be around rich niggas and get money, girls. You see where you be at compared to where I be? I ain't nervous, trust me. Uh, I ain't with the street politics. Now y'all wanna involve streets when you know what show you came on. I'm sorry, I'm a sexy lady. I don't gangbang. What be wrong with y'all girls? That stuff not cute. Be a woman. You keep talking about on the dead homies. Yeah, girl, that's why they dead. See? Okay, look, Anna. You, Anna, I'm... Ooh, Anna, please calm down. You keep talking about on the dead homies. Yeah, girl, that's why they dead. Because y'all trying to be outside like these men instead of living in your femininity. Femininity. You... Is that a word? Is that a word? Femininity? And isn't it femininity? Or, what, what the fuck? What is that word? 
It was never cute to hear a girl say on crib, on blood, leave that to the man Jesus. I should have knew once you brought them dirt bags to Zeus, knowing damn well we classy over here. We on a million dollar budget, boo. Anna, wasn't you just hanging with pressure? You was just hanging with that girl. Anna, I like you. I think you're funny. Funny as hell. One of my top five on the show, I think. Um, please stop it. Just stop. Stop it. Because you can't beat these. You can't beat these girls, Anna. Y'all are in the same area. You don't know where these girls be at. They, they just found Camila at some store. Somebody dropped a low on Camila the other day. They think it's the boy Isaiah from now that CVA. They saying he gave it to E.T. I don't know how true it is, but E.T. got there too late. Camila was already gone. But I'm saying is you, you need to calm it down. I mean, if you stay with a couple friends, fine. Fine. But you're not from there. And like, I'm just, I'm just, um, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to say she's scary. I'm not trying to say none of that. I'm just saying, honor these, they don't care about nothing. Most of them do not care about anything. And then if they catch you, and record it. Do you know how much clout they get off? It's an opportunity. <laughs> like this. On top of that, Anna, you spit at them. You spit at Liddy. Liddy will fold you, Anna. It's, it's like, calm down. Bring it down a few notches. Like, what? I don't want to see Anna getting beat up on Instagram. I don't want to see it. I like her too much. So, Anna, can you just chill? Chill. But that's it for this video. So if you found it interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notifications, and thank you.